Hello everyone, my name is Ashiki. At first I would like to say that please can subscribe my channel. So today I am going to discuss some interesting GK questions. Okay, so now let's get started. Identify this rare and amazing animals and birds. Question number one. This large bird is found in Central and South America. It lives in lowland forest. Its head and neck are bald and its skin colors include red, purple, yellow and many more. It has a dark gray or black rub and mostly white feathers. It has a noticeable fleshy wattle on its beak. Okay, so the answer is king vulture. Question number two. This African bird hunt on the ground, often tracking poisonous snakes. The snake is held down with one of the bird's feet, positioned just behind the victim's head, and may be battered to death from just a blow of the bird's wings. Okay, so the answer is secretary birds. Question number three. This huge band feeds on fruits, plants, and nectar. It is known for being one of the largest bats. Like the other bats from the old world bat family, it does not have the ability to co-locate. Okay, so the answer is Malaysian flying fox. Question number four. Only the male specimen of the small toothed well found along coast and in the rivers throughout the Arctic possess a long straight tusk that projects forward from above the mouth. This spreading tusk is actually a tooth. Okay, so the answer is narwhal. Question number five. This extremely rare wild ox from Asia was unknown to science until 1937. Presently, it is considered among the critically endangered animal, possibly extinct. It was last sight in 1969 to 1970. Okay, so the answer is copra. Question number six. Native to Africa and Asia, these cat-like mammals have a scent gland that secretes a greasy substance which is formed the spray trees and ground to mark their territory. They are often captured and milked for the substance which is used as a fixative for perfumes. Okay, so the answer is civet. Choose the correct answers. Question number one, which animal is known for standing on one leg for long durations. Option number A, flamingo. Option number B, sloth. And option number C, lemur. Okay, so the correct answer is option number A, that is flamingo. Question number two, which animal is the only flying mammal? Option number A, bat. Option number B, flying squirrel. And Option number C, ambitross. Okay, so the correct answer is option number A, that is bat. Question number three, which of these animals have eyes that appear to grow red in the dark? Option number A, alligator. Option number B, lemur. And option number C, penguins. Okay, so the correct answer is lemurs. Question number four, which bamboo eating bear has a baby that may weigh less than an apple? Option number A, grizzly bear. Option number B, polar bear. And option number C, giant panda. Okay, so the correct answer is option number C, that is giant panda. Question number five, which bird can fly straight up, down and backward? Option number A, penguin. Option number B, hummingbird. And option number C, eagle. Okay, so the correct answer is option number B, that is hummingbird. 
let's know more. In 1976, a rare new shark was discovered, the Megamoth. Only a few Megamoths have been found so far and therefore very little is known about them. It is believed that it swims with its mouth open and preys on the victims by trapping them in its huge, luminous mouth. It lives in new tropical water. Second one, discovered in the Lomeni Basin of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Lesura monkey was the second new species of monkey from in Africa over the past 28 years. Number 3. Insects have compound eyes which do not provide them with a clear picture of the world but enable them to detect movement very easily. This is why it is difficult to catch a fly without disturbing it. Cats and some other hunting animals have eyes facing forward, enabling them to look at an object with both eyes at the same time. The brain of a cat is to pre-process the image of each eye and provides an accurate picture of the position of its prey. Animals that hunt at night have more rods or little sensitive cells in their retinas which work better when the light is poor. Next one. An elephant's nose is joined with its upper limb forming the trunk. An elephant sucks water through its tongue and uses it to pour water into its mouth or over its body to take a shower. In some insects, an enlogered sucking tube called proboscis is present. The shape of a dog's nose affects its ability to detect scents. Dogs with longer and broader nose make the best trackers. Some animals have colorful noses to communicate with each other. The male mandrill has a brightly colored nose with a scarlet along the bridge and end. This helps them, the other mandrills, to determine its sex. Next one. A male rhinosaurus beetle has an apectility named because of its horns, much like those of the rhinosaurus. Next one. Hawks are predators which are known for their sharp vision. They catch their prey by chasing it. Chasing takes both effort and time to make successful capture. So, it is necessary for predators to concentrate on species that will provide enough nutrition to compensate for the energy loss while chasing. This is the reason why hawks prefer to eat birds and rodents rather than insects. Next one. Some animals use their tongues for hunting. The alligator snapping turtle from North America lay motionless and waits for fish to swim into its mouth and then closes its jaw. The fish are lectured by turtle's tongue, mistaking it to be a worm. Chameleons have long tongues which they can shoot out of the mouth to catch insects with great accuracy and speed. Cats use their tongues like a ladle, expanding them at the tip to lap up their drink easily. Their tongues have rough surface which helps to remove dead hair while grooming. Okay, the next one. The alligator hunts its prey by laying still and waiting. This method requires very little energy and minimum, but enough to meet energy demands of the cold-blooded alligator who can get by in fluent meals. Most ambush hunters are generally small because a successful hunt depends upon their not being detected. 
Okay, the next one. Blue whales produce sound that can travel from hundred of miles. The large ears of the fennec fox helps it to determine its prey in a desert where food may be very scarce. In some mammals such as the African elephant, the ear flaps are very large. The elephant flaps its ears to stay cool. Okay, so today's video ends here. If you like my today's video, then please like and comment my video. And also subscribe my channel to listen to more such stories. And also to follow all my videos regularly. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.